Your name is? My name is Luke Murphy. And what do you have in your hand? Uh, this is the uh, verdict on Mayor Rob Ford's conflict of interest case, which has just been handed down uh, by, uh, the, by uh, Justice Hackland uh, here at the Ontario Court of, uh, Courthouse at 361 University. And what does it say? Um, well, I haven't read the whole thing. In fact, I barely glanced at it. It's but, uh, about 40 pages here. Uh, but the verdict apparently is that Rob Ford has been found guilty in order to be removed from office. I've had a quick look through some of the footnotes and the judge is kind of systematically taking apart many of Rob Ford's defences on this matter. And um, he is pointing to all the things that Rob Ford should have known, uh, should have done, should have been familiar with. Uh, so basically he's really demolished Rob Ford's defence on this. Uh, so I think it's... Uh, uh, probably a stronger decision than many people were expecting. Uh, people might have anticipated a slap on the wrist or just an acquittal because it's very rare for a judge to overturn the results of an election. Uh, so uh, it's surprising and uh, of course the judge has no uh, has, has no uh, has, has no flexibility in the matter of what he does because uh, he, uh, the, if the defendant is found guilty on, on, by this law, he has to be removed from office. There is no alternative. There's no there's no uh, lighter penalty. So you're a private citizen. Yes. You're not media. No, no. And you got in line. You got in there. Yes. What did you see in there? Uh, well, there was uh, dozens of people standing in line waiting to pick up a copy of this verdict. Uh, I uh, haven't actually been inside this courthouse before, but uh, yep, uh, there's all the usual security, and then I just kind of followed all the clusters of people to where there was a bunch of people all looking at blackberries and waiting in line to pick up these, and a, uh, a lady who was, I suppose, a clerk of the court uh, just passed around uh, copies of these to all the people standing in line. So just stood there, was handed one, and moved on. Uh, so I guess everybody who wants is entitled to get a copy of this. So as a private citizen, um, how are you feeling right now? Um, I'm, uh, let's see, I'm not a Ford fan at all, but I'm very cautious about this because what Rob Ford likes more than anything else is to be a victim. And this plays into his preferred narrative, whereby uh, he has been uh, assaulted and taken down by people who are just trying to destroy his agenda. This is false, of course, because this is a simple matter of uh, justice. This is the, the justice system, and he's hardly going to make a case that the uh, that the, uh, the the judge was biased in this matter because the judge has given him a comprehensive uh, and well thought out verdict by the looks of it. Uh, so. I um, I would prefer that he was turfed from office by the voters and not by and not by a judge, uh, because he may simply find some way to uh, he could run again. He could uh, stay in office pending an appeal. He could win on an appeal. Uh, this is not necessarily the verdict I would have wanted. Right. Well, Luke, uh, do you want to give your last name? Uh, beg your pardon, Luke Murphy. Luke Murphy. Uh, you're a private citizen. You're holding a copy of the decision. Uh, you're going to be spending time looking at it, I'm sure, to yeah. understand better, because you're uh, reserved in your opinion about the way that he was removed well, and, yes, right. and how it's going to be spun. Exactly. Uh, thank you very much. It's a very uh, interesting day in the history of the city of Toronto. Thank you, Luke. Indeed. Thank you.